What's up guys? It's your boy Acro Brandon. Today I wanted to make a quick video on how to survive this apocalypse that's happening here. I am being a little bit serious and in jest at the same time, but I have seen a couple posts come up in my feed recently where people are starting to get a little bit scared that they're not going to have money for food right? Uh, the bills are not so important because we're going to say like, fuck the bills and not pay them. And then that's the whole process and the government's going to take care of it. But a lot of us, right, we're out of work. We're not going to work for a couple more weeks. And even if we start working today, you're not going to get paid for two more weeks anyway. So if you think about it, we're doing a 14 day quarantine across the world right now. So that's two days, two weeks before you can go to work, right? And then another two weeks before you could even get paid if you were to go right back to a 40 hour work week. So that's about a month without any money if you're looking like you're getting close to the line here. So I'm fortunate that, you know, I was a chef ever since I was 18 years old. So I've always been really resourceful with the food that I work with. And if you don't know, the two best items that offer a lot of volume for a small amount are rice and beans. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to talk about a couple different ways in which you can be resourceful with the food and the money that you have. But here's the deal. If you're not much of a person who cooks right now, this should be a, a a learning lesson that you should learn how to cook because when push comes to shove, you can't go out to the restaurants. You can't afford them because you're already starting to go broke as is. So cooking is the only way to be resourceful with your time and money. So before we go into the kitchen, this is the thing that you need to start doing right now if you're already starting to feel the pinch that you might run out of money for food, okay? So if you're watching this right now and you're like, it's cool, I've got like two or three weeks before I start to starve, you're gonna start to do this now to save your pockets, okay? So you're going to start eating cheap now so that way you can have extra money that's gonna float you for a little bit longer, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a field trip into the kitchen. I'm gonna show you a couple different things that you can make. Rice and beans, like I said, are super cheap, okay? Uh, I would recommend going and getting some now. Uh, people are kind of stockpiling it. I was at Costco the other day and they were limiting bags of rice to one per person. Same thing with beans because people are trying to buy like three or four or five bags stockpiling. Now this information is really great if you're just a single person, the sing one individual, but this works just as well if you've got a family to feed. If the kids aren't big fans of rice and beans, tell them to shut the fuck up. Okay, this is survival mode at this point in time, okay? So if you're on a tight budget, you go to the store, okay? You get yourself rice. Rice you gotta cook by yourself, which is obviously pretty easy, but it's also cheap. Uh, a good recipe for rice is usually, or the, the standard ratio is two cups of water per one cup of rice, okay? Uh, if it's brown rice, maybe it's two and a half cups to one. Brown rice takes about a half an hour to cook, whereas white rice can get done in about 15 minutes usually typically okay so what are we looking at here okay uh, a lot of things are actually going to taste really good if you know how to use salt and pepper you don't need tons of fancy seasonings and all that for stuff to taste good okay and if you're if you don't carry seasonings you might want to go get some the dollar store is going to be your friend okay once again you're broke so you don't have time to be like going to starbucks and fucking expensive drinks and you know like all of that stuff like i said or maybe you're not going to be organic or you're vegan or whatever it might be you might have to put some of that stuff aside in order to survive okay so with that i'm go to the store okay you can get a can of kidney beans you get a can of black beans you get a can of uh, garbanzo beans here okay so if you get like a cheap can of beans they're typically I don't know 69 79 cents if you want something a little bit nicer it might be like 80 99 cents and then if you go for something that's organic it might be as high as a uh, dollar 20 a can but once again you're broke you're on a budget you're getting the cheap stuff right here so let's just say these cans are a buck each okay so I'm gonna get one can of garbanzo beans one can of black beans, one can of uh, dark kidney beans. So that's a good variety of beans right there. So one, two, three dollars right there. Uh, and then maybe a can of corn, right? So I'll show you what I got. Where do I got a can of corn? Lay up here. Okay, can of corn as well. That's a four dollar meal right here. Okay. Now, if you got a little bit to spare, you're gonna want to get yourself an onion because an onion is gonna make everything taste a little bit better. Onions are cheap. I feel like they're seventy nine cents a pound or something like that. So let's just say. 25 to 50 cents for an onion so we're at 450 right here and then if you want to take it to the next level like i do you're also going to get yourself a can of stewed tomatoes that's right around a dollar 50 for the bigger size cans uh you know it's one size up i don't have any because i just used it okay so then you're going to take everything you're going to put it here on the stove you're going to sweat off your onion until it starts to like get translucent yeah boom 
after that's done, you're gonna throw in all four cans, everything into one big pot. And then maybe if you're sprucing it up a little bit, salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of chili powder, something like that to kind of give it a little bit of an oomphy good taste right there. Okay, so that's a $5 meal for the most part. And that $5 meal, okay, because I made some, is going to fill a bin that looks like this, actually probably a little bit more, okay? This would be, I don't know how big this container is right here, but this is with just the beans alone would probably fill this up one and a half times. And if you have a little bit of money to splurge, you can also get yourself a pound of beef or ground turkey or something like that if you want a little extra uh, content. This right here, this is going to give me four or five meals, no, probably more than that, you know. I can probably eat, yeah, i probably get total like six or seven total meals. Okay, and so we're looking throughout the day, right? How many times a day do you need to eat? Right now we're broke, we can't go anywhere, we're not working hard all day, we're not exercising all day, so our consumption needs to come down as well, which is hard because when you're home, <laughs> I like to eat, right? I just, I love eating, I love food, so when I'm home I'm constantly cooking and eating and now is not the time for that, okay? So that alone for six bucks, you can get yourself at least six or seven meals okay six or seven portions maybe even more okay so that's less than a dollar per portion right there and if you're really really starving and you only eat once a day that's going to be there for you that doesn't even include the rice right so if you have the rice oh god things are falling uh if you have rice then you could supplement with that right you cook your rice up you put a little bit of rice you put a little bit of chili now you've doubled that now you're almost to 14 days okay so what you want to be is a little bit cautious because if you make a huge batch like that what you might want to do is make the huge batch freeze half of it eat what you need first and then when you get done with that move into the next thing okay and then you might be thinking well this is kind of like i'm eating the same thing over and over dude are you hungry or are you not Okay, cool. So now here's the next thing that we can look at for resourcefulness, okay? Now, you might want a little bit of variety, but you need to be resourceful with the amount of money that you're spending, okay? So they have these chickens, okay? We've got two in the fridge there, I don't know what you can see, and alcohol, okay? Definitely we're not running out of necessities like that. So you can get these chickens right here, okay? A whole rotisserie chicken. This one was $6. This is a non-organic chicken, okay? Now is not the time to be eating organic if you can't afford it. Okay, I know you might have some uh, internal battles with yourself, but okay, we need to survive. So if you get one chicken, I recommend getting two chickens. Okay, so two chickens come with four quarters, right? Two breasts and two legs. Okay, so if you eat one quarter a day, that's four portions right there. Between two chickens, that's eight portions of meat right there. Okay, do not throw the carcass away. Okay, so with this carcass, then what I'm going to do with it, like I always do, like a good chef, is I'm actually going to make stock with it. Okay, so while you're at the store, you might need to buy a few carrots, a little bit of celery. Okay, these are all cheap items if you can splurge on them because carrots will be good because then carrots you can also eat as a side dish, right? You're getting your vegetables just along. Same thing with the celery. Okay, so you might want to get a, uh, an onion or two. Okay, you might want to get a bag of carrots, which is only like two bucks. And celery is like $2 as well. So you take those two chickens, the carcasses, after you've eaten everything, okay, you're going to save your bones, okay, because nobody eats the chicken drumstick part, right? You eat the meat, but you don't really actually eat the bone throat. You're going to put it into a big pot. I actually have a bigger one than that. I would recommend bigger than that, as big as possible. You're going to make yourself stock. Okay, so you take your two carcasses, you put in an onion, you put in a few sticks of celery, you put in a few sticks of carrots, you fill it all the way to the top with water, you bring it to a boil, you reduce it to a simmer, you simmer it for three or four hours. Okay, this is what good chefs do. You get a really good chicken stock out of it, right? It pulls all the gelatin out of the bones. Mm -mm -mm, super delicious. Okay, after you get done with that, you strain off all the liquid. You're probably going to have at least a gallon ish or so of chicken stock okay from that now you can start to make yourself chicken soup right you come back you throw in some vegetables right you take the chicken soup maybe you'll come back and you'll throw in a few more of the carrots from the bag carrot celery onion your standard mirepoix maybe you're throwing in another can of corn which only costs a dollar right boom and you have a huge stock pot full of chicken soup this will float you there's a lot of protein in there and you can eat chicken soup for days on end same thing i recommend cooking that taking half of it freezing it and then when you're ready and you come back okay this alone these two little items right here will float you at least a week if not two weeks and what did we do we spent two chickens right here six bucks each that's 12 
yeah, uh, carrot, celery, and onion, let's say 20 bucks out the door with tax between these two items. Yeah, the chicken should last you at least four to six days, probably closer, like six meals if you're eating conservatively. Okay, so that's six portions right there, along with the chili and the rice and the beans that you had, which could get you at least another week and a half right there, right? So that was 25 to $30. And then you're boiling all of the chicken stock for chicken soups. You could have three courses a day that's gonna feed you for at least 10 days for $30. Let that sink in for a second there. $30. Could you last a week with $30? Okay, this is good healthy food. This is not chips. This is bullshit. None of that stuff. Okay, so I just wanted to give that to you guys really quick because I am a little bit concerned for those of you that aren't chefs, those of you that are tripping. Okay, you maybe you're getting to the point where you're starting to like start to kind of be like, what the fuck? I'm gonna starve. How am I gonna make it happen? I don't know how to cook. Here's some of the stuff that I wanted to share with you, and hopefully that helps you make it through this tough time. But like I said, okay, you need to start doing this now, not when the bank account gets to $100, okay? When you're like, fuck, now what am I gonna do? I only have 100 bucks left. If you're looking at your bank account, and you, I live paycheck to paycheck, I'm lucky I can go maybe two weeks, a month at most, without any payment and then I'm gonna to start to fucking scramble be like hey mom and dad I know I'm 40 I need to ask for money again and you probably don't have any as well right <laughs> but if you're thinking like damn what's gonna happen let's be honest you're not gonna get a paycheck for at least two weeks most likely okay probably a month so you start eating like this now so that you can pad the wallet and slow down the depletion okay stay inside eat healthy have fun and if you have any other requests or I come up with some other things I'll let you know probably next I probably will make another video uh, with like potatoes because potatoes are super cheap okay sweet potatoes regular potatoes um, other tubers things like that those are all cheap items okay um, so yeah hopefully this helps please share this with other people so they don't starve and uh, everybody makes it through this Armageddon all right see you in the next video